Hi guys, today I am making a prickly pear syrup. For this recipe we're gonna need some um, prickly pear, which is a cactus fruit, and we're gonna need some sugar. We're gonna figure out how much sugar we need after we juice the um, cactus fruit. And we're gonna need some pectin. What pectin does is actually preserves the color of the fruit and um, increases gel-like qualities. First, we're gonna need to scrape off all these little spikes of the fruit. And I'm actually using double rubber gloves for this um, task because these guys are extremely sharp. And um, after we've um, scraped off all the little spikes, we're gonna start juicing the fruit. And I'm using the electric juicer So we've pretty much ended up with 1200 milliliters of juice. Using a colander lined up with a double layer of cheesecloth, we're gonna strain all the juice. 1200 milliliters of juice, it's about 5 cups. In the recipe, um, I was um, trying to actually make jam. It says you will need for 5 cups 10 cups of sugar sorry guys I just could not tolerate that much sugar so instead of making a jam I've decided to make just the syrup and um, reducing the sugar by half so for five cups of juice I'm just gonna use a five cups of um, sugar and when the juice starts to boil, just let it boil for about a minute. And we're going to put two bags of um, pectin in there. And um, after another minute of boiling, we're going to um, turn it off. And it's ready. So just use the mason jars, um, clean and washed mason jars to pour your syrup in and um, you can keep it in the refrigerator for as long as you want and I've decided um, I wanted to use that syrup to add to smoothies or maybe just to um, tea um, an interesting story about the prickly pear guys um, it's very rich in vitamin C and it's also very rich in calcium and antioxidant compounds uh, so it's a really healthy fruit I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.